Hello, hello students. So today's episode is going to be HTCA again, how to check your answer. We're going to be focusing on expanding double brackets. Do you know that we can actually check our answers? Today we'll be doing five questions and I'll be showcasing both of these calculators in getting the answers checked. Alright, so just follow through. So expand and simplify x plus 8, x plus 7. So here we go. So x times x will give me x squared. Outside is 7x. Inside will be 8x. Finally, number times number, that will be 56. Okay, don't forget to simplify the middle part. That will give you the answer x squared plus 15x plus 56. So I have a question to you. Do you know that we can actually check the answer after our expansion of double bracket? So let me show you how today. Okay, I'm going to check the answer for expanding double bracket. I want you to click on mode three times. One, two, three. So you'll be heading to equation number one. Press one. All right. Now you'll be prompt of the unknowns two, three. Don't go to two or three. Instead, there's a right arrow over there. Click on right arrow. So now our x is actually power of two, degree two. So key in two. Okay. So whatever that is in front of x squared is actually the value a. In this case, it's actually 1. Press 1. Equal. Whatever that is in front of x is actually b. So in this case, is 15. So click 1, 5. Equal. And the number alone is actually the value c. So in this case, is 56. 5, 6. Equal. Alright, the answer is out. x1 is for the first bracket. So I am looking at one of the bracket must be... Now, pay attention, if they show you negative 7, the bracket is x plus 7. Reverse the symbol. So negative, it must be a plus 7, right? So x2 is negative 8. So your bracket reverse this symbol. So it's actually x plus 8. There you go. If you're using this kind of model of calculator, then you have to click on mode one time. And you're going to go for number 5. Equation, right? So go for number 5. Alright, then you need to look for the one that is very similar to our question. So that is actually number 3. Alright, so number 3. Alright, they will prompt you what is the value of A, B and C. So whatever that is in front of X squared, that will be A. Our question here is 1. Press equal. B, that will be 15. Equal. Finally, C is 56. So key in 56. Equal. Alright. So press equal again. X1 is actually minus 7. So you have to reverse with what you are seeing on the calculator screen. Your bracket should be X plus 7. Okay, press on equal. X2 is negative 8. So reverse of the operation negative. Then the bracket will be X plus 8. Second question, we want to check our answer. X squared minus X minus 20. So once again, click mode 3 times. Equation, go for right arrow, degree 2. Okay. So key in your value of a in front of x squared is 1, equal. Now, in front of x is actually negative 1, so have to key in negative 1, equal. Finally, our c value is minus 20, so you can use this button, minus 20, press equal. So they are telling you the first bracket, if they show you positive 5, then the bracket is actually x minus 5. Don't forget to reverse what you see, okay? Now, the calculator is telling me the second bracket is actually minus 4, so your bracket should be x plus 4. Second question, let's go. So, mode 1 time, number 5, then go for number 3, okay? So, fit in your value of a, b, c. a is 1, equal. b is minus 1, careful, minus 1, equal. c is minus 20 or negative 20, alright? Key in, equal. Again, equal again. So, you see that x1 is positive 5. Your bracket should be minus 5, x minus 5. Press equal, x2 is negative 4, so your bracket should be x plus 4. Reverse with the operation shown on your calculator screen. We're going to check our third question now, x squared minus 13, x plus 30. So let's start, 1, 2, 3, then go for equation, go for right arrow, degree 2. Whatever that is in front of x squared, so key in 1, equal. Whatever that is in front of your x, that is minus 13 in this case. So minus 1, 3, press equal. The number alone, that is 30. So click in 3, 0, equal. Okay, now the answer is out. So your first bracket should be x minus 10. Don't forget to reverse what you are seeing. The second bracket, let's see. So the second bracket should be x minus 3, reverse. If it is positive, you make sure that the bracket is actually minus 3. Okay, third question. So mode one time. 
go for number five, go for number three. All right, so A is one equal, B is negative 13, so negative 13 equal, C is 30, three zero equal, equal again. So X1 is 10, therefore your bracket is X minus 10. X2 is 3, so therefore your bracket is X minus 3. There you go. Hey, if you are watching this before your maths examination, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions that you want to ask teacher Alvin, don't forget to just comment and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. Okay, so teacher is going to check the fourth question now. Our A is actually 1, press equal. B is minus 14, so minus 14 equal. C is actually positive 49, so 49 press equal. Alright, so instead of showing x1, x2 now, notice that there's actually just x over here because there's only one bracket in our question. So your bracket should be x minus 7, right? See? Fourth question, let's go. Mode, go for number 5, 3. Alright, so we are going to go for a is 1. B is minus 14, so minus 14 equal. C is 49. 49, sorry, 49 equal. Alright, equal again. So instead of showing x1, x2, notice that it's just only x. Alright, because our bracket are having the same value, so reverse what you see. It should be x minus 7. Okay, so if I press equal, it will hop back to the question. Alright, for this last question, it's slightly harder to check if you're using FX570 MS model, okay? Let's start. So click mode three times. Go for equation number one, right arrow, and degree two, okay? So we want to check our answer 6x squared minus 7x minus 20. So A is 6 equal. B is minus 7, so minus 7 equal. C is minus 20, so minus 20 and then press equal. Alright, we are getting a decimal value 2.5. It's very hard to check the brackets, okay? So you have to key in this button ABC to convert it into a mixed number. So you can see 2, 1 over 2. That's actually the, our X1 answer, 2, 1 over 2. Don't forget that this is actually equivalent to 5 over 2, okay? Convert it into improper fraction, then only you can check with our bracket. So the bottom 2 is actually for this in front of X. 5 is actually for this. Don't forget, when our calculator says positive value, that will be negative for the bracket. Alright, check one more time. So our x2 value is a decimal value. Click on this button to change on fraction. Okay, so we are getting the mixed number negative 1, 1 over 3. So teacher already wrote it over here. x2, convert it into improper. So you get negative 4 over 3. Don't forget, if it is negative answer on calculator, your bracket should be positive. 3 is for in front of x, 4 is actually for this side over here. So that is how you check for double bracket expansion. Last question, so mode one time, go for equation number 5, go for 3 for x squared. Alright, so whatever that is in front of x squared, there is 6 for this question. b is negative 7, equal, c is negative 20, equal. And you're gonna press equal again, right? So your first bracket, right, that should be negative because here calculator is showing positive. So definitely is negative. And in front of x is actually the bottom number. So 2x and the other side is 5. So your bracket should be 2x minus 5. Okay? So let's show you x2. If they are showing you negative on the calculator screen, then your bracket is positive or plus. So the bottom number is 3. Therefore, it's actually 3x plus 4 on the bracket. Okay, that's it for this one. So if you have any questions that you want to ask teacher Elvin about your calculators, you can always drop me a comment. And I really hope you learn how to check your expansion of your double bracket. And I'll see you in the next class. Okay, bye-bye.